This is Business M. My name is Simba Elijah Charles Kiege. It is Friday, so let's talk Friday business. And so you'd expect for us to go a bit soft and talk about the industries that are our key focus right now within the economy. Good. Let's talk about entertainment. And I want us to pick a segment within the entertainment industry that is called the gospel music. That specific area. Now, if you look at the focus in which most of um, this industry has been given, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic, it is immense. We've seen a lot of announcements around this area. Warner Music Group, they launched their first IPO just the other day. What is in Netflix gaining 16 million new subscribers in just a case of two months. Which therefore goes a long way to show you that even as we talk about the world relaxing in that perspective, entertainment is among those top areas that have to be looked at and given a key focus going also by the way in which President Uhuru Kenyatta did appreciate entertainers within the economy by releasing funds just to let them keep on doing what they are doing. Good. So this morning, to help us understand, therefore, what the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic have been on that specific segment of the music industry in the country, and also to get a key focus on exactly what we expect the changes to be, we are joined by Kevin Gooda, is a gospel music artist in the country. Gooda, happy to see you, man. Happy to see you too. Yeah. Yes. Well, I would like us to start this conversation like this. And I know just before we went on air, we were having this chit-chat on exactly what you expect the effects, therefore, of the COVID-19 pandemic to be on your industry, specifically now when we're talking about churches closed, clubs closed, shows are closed. I mean, what are you doing now, especially when it comes to raising your profile and telling people that I'm actually here? Indeed, this COVID-19 has really affected us, yes. us as gospel artists because uh, most of our revenues, we get them from churches. Yes. When we are called to minister, churches do appreciate us with something good. But uh, when this COVID-19 came, we don't earn anything. So this has uh, made us to think of the other avenues that we can get yes. our resources. And most of us, have decided to go to 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 digital platform mm -hmm. like Facebook, Instagram, yes. and YouTube for us to make ourselves visible. Is there. it is it is it something that you were planning to do, or as Kevin, you just realized, whoa, man, I gotta make this money, so I gotta now go very much online, or it's something that you're building your profile on. Uh I, I didn't see this before. Yes. Rona. I, I thought that. Uh, the, Things will be Nini, will be as usual, but when this COVID nineteen came, mm -hmm. it uh, it brought surprise on us. It made us to wanna rethink what else can we do after yes. church has been closed. Yes. That's why we went to YouTube just to see how we can build our profile, yes. how we can make ourselves more relevant. Yes. Because on right now, oh, churches have been closed. <laughs> There's no. So visibility please, you can go isn't it yes, visibility yes, is so long. yes apart yes. from yes. venturing in online platform yes yes okay tell me how has it been because i'm going to talk about your your journey in the music industry but i just want to understand for you now do you see that this is going to be the new normal because at the end of the day if you're going live probably on on, on your facebook platform on, on online platforms is that going to be the new normal because we've seen most artists also do that now where you're having a concert online is that going to be the new normal for you guys now yes, uh, yes. for you to have sustainability in this uh, industry as per now yes uh, this indeed must be the new norm yes by the way yes yes yeah. all right so what have you done as yourself? Are you, have you been forced to talk to your manager and tell them we need a team that is probably now specialized or they can sell our product online as opposed to probably to a team that was used to selling our products to shows and, and, and live events. I'm talking about inviting people over to come review your music, isn't it? Is that the shift that you're going through right now? Oh, yes. So now yes. right now, uh, I, I have a team that I'm currently working with, yes. my marketing manager yes so so uh, we have come up with the various uh, product uh, in the nini online marketing yes. well, uh, 
where we want to bring our music mm -hmm. where where everybody can find it yes. online like uh, we are in youtube yes. instagram yes. and also the boom play yes yes i, I would like i would like to, to talk about the boom play now because that's a, also another area that i would like us to talk about so when you look at exactly the way in which kenyans consume their music kenya but would you say that Kenyans are also embracing this new normal? What have your numbers been, especially on Boomplay? Boomplay, uh, mm -hmm. we are trying. We mm -hmm. are trying. I can't say that uh, it, it, it is good, but uh, we are we are adding somewhere. Yes. Adding that on, uh, Kenyans don't buy music. Isn't it? Yeah. In Ken fact, most Kenyans don't uh, Kenyans like don't to buy, buy entertainment content. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's why often that uh, artists are not well off because yes there's no support out nini outside here yes unless you you want to build your brand to the like of Saudi soul yes no, no. even them they don't earn as much as they can earn in mm -hmm. the selling of their their cds like, yes. like nini mm -hmm. albums and yeah, all that, yeah, albums, that? Yes. Mm -hmm. all right so, i gotta talk to you about this i mean we can't complete this conversation without mentioning that the president the other day released some money that was supposed to go to all artists within the country one on one, Kevo, have you received the money? Ah. No, 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 no. And I don't even have a hope of receiving that money. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make of that announcement for you when you saw the president announce that, yes, we're going to release some funds that are going to go to our entertainers within this COVID 19 pandemic? What did it make you feel? At first, I had hope. I thought that a, a, a process will be quicker. Yes. No, no. But right now, I see that there are some cartel uh, who, who have been, uh, decided to eat. Yeah, isn't no, it? No. Like this money, like yeah. people don't have to get it, man. Ah, no, no, no. no. Yes. It's very hard for an artist to get this money. Yes. Now, yes. talk to me about your journey, because after that then, I would like to know what you think about the way gospel music is growing within mm. Kenya, especially. When did you start this and what have been the highlights of your journey so far? Uh, I started my gospel musical journey right after high school. Yes. Because uh, to me, mm, music is a passion. So uh, passion is what propels me. Even when there's no income, passion, passion is the fuel that uh, propelled me to, to, to the destiny that I want to yes. reach. So yes. after high school, I venture into gospel music because uh, I I am a kind of a person who like uh, societal transformation yes. and I saw that it is only in the message of the gospel that could transform the society that I wanted. Yes. That's why I venture into gospel music. Pretty much, isn't yes. it? Then talk to me about the growth of the music. Um, about two, the sector that I'm talking about this morning is just the gospel music yes. docket within the music industry. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of artists convert within the country. While you're doing secular now, you've gone back to mm -hmm. gospel music. Would you say that it's got more market, it's got a wider market base than secular music within the country? Uh, you see, uh, in the gospel music is not like a, an industry. Yes. Gospel music is more of a ministry. And find that on a ministry, uh, its purpose is to serve. Mm -hmm. on, but industry, then you need papa, it just don't get revenue. Mm -hmm. But us, we, we don't get a revenue direct. No, no. Our a revenue comes indirectly you know, yes. after we serve. So, so, so in the journey of our service, you know, we receive appreciation. So when you're entering into gospel music, don't go with the, with the mind of, I'm going to go make money on no, it. No, no, no. But given no. we've or seen artists who are doing that basically to get that money, because then somebody it, will tell you, well, it's, it's business at the end of the day. There's nothing wrong doing business with the word of God, is it? Mm. <laughs> I think, I think, I think, I think it is a wrong business. <laughs> if you want to, to get money, yes. go to secular. You'll, you'll get a lot of money. Yes. But in the gospel, it isn't about money. No, no, money comes after your focus. It should be the message that you are dispensing out there. And yes. How is it relevant to the society? Yes. No, no. So, so as 
our goal it is a societal transformation. And that's pretty much it, isn't it? Yes. Fantastic. So now, what would you say are the highlights so far for your music career since you started out? Oh, mm, through music, uh, God has blessed me. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been able to uh, create a brand yes. uh, which has helped me to uh, create my other side hustle. Yes. Yes. And, and also, uh, it, it has also given me greater network. Yes. Uh, I talk of people who believe in me and who can also give me business. Yes. And it has also given me influence from where I come from, my in society. When I speak, they can so hear listen, me. It's a voice speaking. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. So I, I like what you mentioned now. You're, you're saying that it's actually helped you to also start your side hustle. Yes. Yeah, side but hustle. Which is one thing I'm going to ask you, man. Do you believe that it could be possible that a Kenyan artist just earns from his or her music? Yes, it is possible. We've seen some of them, yes. It is possible, mm -hmm. but it is a journey. It is not easy. And you, you must do a lot of work in it. Yes. And then it takes time before uh, an artist starts earning. Yes. yes especially just, gospel artists? Yeah, yes. especially gospel artists. So for someone who's listening to you now and, and looking at Kevin, who's talking about how you should not approach um, the music, the gospel music, I would say, industry as a business venture. But they will ask you, but I'm only getting into this because it takes time, it takes money, as you will tell me. Yes. How are you supposed to recoup this money that you're spending in making a brand of yourself? Brand yourself. Um, the money that you're getting, you should have a plan that uh, Apart from being artist, what's yes. next? You, know, yes. you should have any a living. So the money that you, 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 that you are getting, you should invest in yourself, yes. especially uh, in the business. You start other business to mm -hmm. support your yes. ministry. Yes. yes. All right. So now talk to me about your team. This has also been another area in which most of uh, the Kenyan artists have been blamed. That like Kevin was set out, but he wants to do everything. He wants to be the manager, he wants to be promoter, he wants to be the social media guy, he wants to be the events organizer guy. Do you think that Kenyans, especially young music artists within the country, have realized what sort of team you need around yourself to grow as a brand? Yes, certainly. Yes, as an artist, you cannot really succeed without a strong team behind you. Yes. Because a team makes things uh, happen easily yes. and quicker for you. But when you are alone, you will struggle because you won't know where, where, where to take your music, where to get shows. But anyway, with the team, things become simpler and you're, you, 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 you are also able nini, to know other opportunities that are available for you. Yes. No, no. And also, Pia, the scope of your thinking enlarge yes. with the team yes. than when you work alone. Yes. Yes. Pretty much. Talk to me about music producers in the country, therefore. I would like to think that these are the guys who sort of help you, sort of give you music an identity, just this brand that you're looking for in the country. Do you think the process has also been understood? Because then when you look at exactly the way the West is approaching their music, they're sort of creating this brand. I can listen to a song and say, ah, that is from so-and-so. That is from this country. That is from this country. That's from Uganda, especially Tanzania. Mm -hmm. That's a Tanzanian song. Mm -hmm. Do you think Kenya has a sound, especially in the gospel music industry, where you're saying, oh, Chebo is Kenyan. I don't have to go any other way. Like, that is where we're headed as Kenyans in the gospel music industry. Uh, in Kenya, I can say that uh, most our in mean, most of our type of music we we do it from the from the Western world, like the USA. You know, we don't yes. have uh, uh, original, uh, any, original like, like like uh, like like Tanzania. Yes. We know them with bongo. That's no, it. No, no, That's no, it. No. Yes, but Kenya, we don't have that type of attach that. Who can say that this, this is, is pretty much Kenya? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, why do you think that is so? And, and Kevo, how are you trying to change that in your brand? 
I think I think I think we need a uh, we lack originality. Mm -hmm. No, no. Yes. Uh, guys just want to imitate what other people are doing. But in the uh, imitation, we can't grow our industry. No, no. Unless yes. we we be original, is when people will appreciate us in our originality. Pretty much. Yes. Yeah, I'm 